Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going through the top 10 Parallels games that you can play on your M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So if you didn't already know, Parallels is a virtual machine software that allows you to run Windows games on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. For more information about games that are compatible via Parallels, please check out the M1 Compatible Games Master List, which lists all of the different ways that games can be played on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac, including via Parallels. So for example, we can sort by compatibility via the Parallels column, and this will give us a list of compatible games. If you'd like to find out how to install Windows on your M1 Apple Silicon Mac, then please check out my Windows 11 ARM on Parallel 17 full install tutorial. This is going to show you step by step how to install the software. If you do decide to make a purchase, please follow the affiliate link at the top of the description of this video. I'll receive a small commission and you'll be really helping the channel and the work that I do. When you get to the Parallels website, you'll be able to download a free trial where you'll be able to run this for 14 days for absolutely free and see if this is the right software for you. Also, I'm very happy to announce that Parallels 17 now supports the virtual TPM chip even for the standard edition. So this used to be a pro edition only feature. Parallels has now decided to bundle this feature into all editions and this should help with compatibility with the full version of Windows 11 when it releases, which requires the TPM chip as a minimum requirement. And also we are giving away three copies of Parallels on the Apple Gaming Wiki website. Please check out the wiki for more information on how to enter this draw. Come on, girl, you'll have plenty of time to play later. So before I launch into my top 10 list, I'd just like to clarify that the games that I'm going to include in this list are games that I consider to be enjoyable and playable on the platform, not just technology performance demos of what's capable on the M1 Mac. What you'll find is that some games do work for one or two levels or they're enjoyable in a certain section. What I'd like to include are games that are relatively bug free and appear to be completable from start to finish. So the first game we're going to look at is Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, which is made by Platinum Games. So this is the same developer who made games such as Bayonetta, Neo Automata and The Wonderful 101. This game is running at 1080p at around 35 to 40 frames per second. And this is especially impressive considering that this is running in a virtual machine with only four of the eight CPU cores and four of the eight gigabytes of RAM. This game actually works great, especially with a controller. And it is a really good showcase for what the Parallels virtual machine is capable of on the M1 Apple Silicon chip. So next up is Grand Theft Auto 4. So it's actually possible to play Grand Theft Auto 5 via Parallels, but the settings need to be turned down so far and the experience is so stuttery and poor. There's actually better to play Grand Theft Auto 4. The game actually looks much better than Grand Theft Auto 5 with the medium settings on at 1080p. And this is still a very impressive game. If you've never finished the full campaign for this, then this is a really good opportunity to play the full game on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. Unfortunately, macOS doesn't have many open world sandbox type games, so you should definitely take advantage of them when they are compatible. So next up is Command & Conquer Remastered Collection. So this game actually works really well on Parallels on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So this is a remaster of the original strategy games Command & Conquer and also the spin-off Red Alert. This collection contains a ton of content including three expansion packs, a rebuilt multiplayer and a new modernized user interface. This game is also included as part of EA Play and EA Play itself is included if you are subscribed to the Xbox Game Pass for PC. So this is a great reason to get one of these subscription services and play it on Windows on the Parallels Virtual Machine. So next up is Hitman Absolution. So if you're familiar with the Hitman series, you'll know that it is a set of third person stealth games where you can approach levels in a kind of open ended way. Now Hitman Absolution is not the best game in the entire series, but it is the most modern entry into the series that works well on Parallels on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So this is running at 1600 by 900 at about 30 to 40 frames per second and it performs very well. It is also possible to get games like Hitman 2 running however there's some graphical issues. So I suggest that you stick with this version because it performs very well without any graphical hitches. So next up is the game Ori and the Blind Forest. So this is a rather beautiful platform adventure Metroidvania style game where you play as the character Ori, the little small white furry creature. The game game really focuses on platforming, exploration, collecting items and upgrading, and also backtracking to previously inaccessible areas. The game is really beautiful and has excellent music as well. This game works well with a controller paired to Windows on Parallels, and it performs very well on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. Unfortunately, its sequel does not really work, however this edition of the game contains plenty of content for you to get through on your Mac. Next up is Fallout 3. Now this is one of the best open world role playing games from Bethesda. Now I actually prefer Fallout New Vegas. However, New Vegas has several bugs which are game breaking, whereas Fallout 3 works perfectly well. This is running at 1080p at around 60 frames per second and it works great even in open world environments with lots of combat going on. 
It is also possible to play Fallout 4 through Parallels, but even with 16GB of RAM it doesn't perform very well, so I recommend playing an earlier entry like Fallout 3 which works very well. So next up is Dragon Age Origins, which is the first entry of the Dragon Age series. And to be honest, I think this one is the very best in the series. It's got the most complex RPG and tactical combat, and also the best storyline, and the most in-depth choices and locations. And the gameplay hasn't been diluted too much through microtransactions and flashy combat effects, which the later entries in the series really suffered from. So this is a really fantastic way to experience the start of this series. So this game isn't particularly demanding. It runs very smoothly at 1080p, and performs very stably on Windows on Parallels. Next up is the classic god game from Will Wright called Spore. So this game allows you to develop a tiny microscopic organism and develop it and evolve it into a complex intelligent being which goes through several evolutionary stages and then finally ascends into space where it can interact with other alien species in the galaxy. This is one of the older games on the list and it still works rather well on parallels in the widescreen aspect ratio and is one of the more interesting open-ended games. So next up is Mass Effect Legendary Edition which is a remaster of the Mass Effect trilogy and on display now is Mass Effect 1 which performs very well on parallels. Now it is possible to play this game via crossover but the performance on parallels is also very good. And it would be even better if you did have an M1 chip with 16 gigabytes of RAM. So this is one of the classic Bioware RPGs where first person gameplay is punctuated by RPG elements and then dialogue trees and decisions where choices are made which have major effects of the storylines of Mass Effect 2 and 3. So the first game performs particularly well, the second and third game do, do have slightly worse performance but is very much playable on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So the last game on this list is Rocket League and Rocket League used to have a Mac OS port however Sonic dropped support for this when they moved to a free-to-play model on the Epic Games Store. Therefore, in order to be playing online multiplayer with the rest of the world, you'll have to be playing the Windows version of the game. And it is also actually possible to play this game through crossover, however there's a visual bug with nameplates, so therefore Parallels is the best way to play this game if you want to play multiplayer online. The performance is pretty good here, we're running at 1080p at medium settings. While I wouldn't say this is a competitive frame rate, it is certainly enough to play the game casually. So we've now reached the end of our top 10 list of of Parallels games and what I can definitely say is that gaming on Parallels is extremely impressive. However it is not necessarily perfect and I don't really consider it a full replacement to Windows PC gaming. However I do think that in a pinch it will allow you to play the Windows games that you want to at least on a temporary basis. You can also check out the M1 Parallels Windows compatible games list for other suggestions of games that we've tested. If you've done your own testing and want to add to the list then please follow the instructions on the website. Also I've talked about other ways of running Windows games on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. Please check out my Parallels vs Crossover video to compare which one is going to be best for running Windows games on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. Anyway I hope you found this video useful. If you did please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.